This Friday, two of Michigan's largest departments will become one. Governor Rick Snyder says merging the Departments of Human Services and Community Health will help streamline services and cut down on costs. But what does that mean for those who use those services? NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in the newsroom right now with the answer for us. Walter? Bill, this merger creates one of the largest state departments in Michigan. The Department of Health and Human Services, as it will now be known, will have more than 14,000 employees. Social justice advocates say consumers may not notice any differences at first. They're hoping the merger brings a change of culture at DHS and not just more red tape and bureaucracy. Bridge card recipient Michael Bram is not happy with his experiences at the Department of Human Services. He says he's treated like he's just a number. These people are overloaded with cases already. That's why they deal with us the way they do. He's hoping the merger of the Department of Human Services and Community Health will lead to better consumer experiences. There's some things that need to happen from the top and then checked in. A state spokesperson says the merger will do just that, focus on people rather than outcomes. It'll be hopefully much more than a name change. Ed Hort runs Flint Center for Civil Justice. Joining the two may make the program run better. Governor Snyder says the merger will streamline services and lead to better outcomes. What they have to do is take a look at that and hopefully bring the culture of community health into DHS so that they can cut down the caseload so you have caseworkers who can actually work with people. While Bram is hopeful things will get better, he remains skeptical. I just wonder who they're going to hire, what they're going to add on, how they're going to do this, and it's already frustrating. Now, a spokesperson for the Department of Community Health says consumers will not notice a change in services. This merger dates back to Governor Snyder's State of the State address when he said he wanted to create more, quote, rivers of opportunity. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25. Sadie.